adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. So we're going to carry on with a the theme of doing stuff that looks really hard. Now, in order to do this, you need to understand how, if you, if you can do a half plus a third, you can do everything that follows. You need to understand this first. Just think about what you do. So if you're going to do a half plus a third, what do you do? You get a common denominator, don't you? So we're looking to get those numbers to be the same. If those numbers are the same, then, then adding fractions is simple, but we've got to match them up. So what we do is what would you multiply two by? Well, the, the common denominator is, uh, well, the lowest common multiple is going to be six. Two times three. You multiply top and bottom by that guy over there, don't we? So it's still got a half. And then this three, we multiply by two. So I'm actually doing the same to the denominator. So we end up with the same number. So I multiply top and bottom by two. So one times two, two to the answer. And we just have those top bits together. So you multiply top and bottom here by, by three. And you multiplied top and bottom here by the two. Right, let's now look at this. Now, I fully accept here that some of you might look at this and you might actually think, of a better way, a quicker way of doing this. All right, but for consistency, I'm going to do the same thing um, because I recognise a quicker way of doing this. All right, and if you can do that, go for it. So, what I'm going to look for here is okay. It's a subtraction. It doesn't really make any difference. I'm looking for a, my my lowest common multiple. Well, I, I'm not actually going to go for lowest common multiple because I'm going to do exactly what I did a second ago. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by six. And I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 9. So that gives me 45z over 54. And then that gives me 24z over 54. Now what you could have done is you could have multiplied this one by 3 and this one by 2. It would have made life a little bit easier. All right? But I'm just going to do it that way. So 45 take away 24 is 21. 21 Z over 54. Now have a look, see if anything will cancel down. Well, I can see that 3 goes into into both of these. So 3 goes into 21 7 times, and it goes into 54 18 times. All right? So that's the answer. Now, you could have got there a little bit quicker if you would have multiplied it by 3, multiplied it by 2. I want to leave that out for a second. Um, just because then it's, it's that kind of more consistent approach. All right? If you do that low, however, you might need to cancel the fraction down at the end. Okay, so let's look at this. Ugh, wait a minute, this looks horrible. Well, actually, it's not so bad. Multiply top and bottom by four. Now, all it is doing, this is just testing all of the skills that we can do. Multiply top and bottom by three. Now I'm going to be a little bit lazy here, because rather than doing this one 3 times 4 and then 4 times 3, let's just do it once, okay? Now all I've really got to do here is I've just, it's just all I've got to do is I'm just going to work out what's on the top there, okay? Just imagine that was a question. We were doing it in one of the first, first lessons, okay? So what have we got? We've got... 4x take away 8 plus 6x plus 9. Remember, it's all over 12. Now, 4x plus 6x, that's going to be 10. I would carry on working sort of down my page, but um, and then plus 1. Anything else I can do? Nah, that's it. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I'll prefer to work down if we can, but as you see, I kind of ran out of room. Right. Same approach, okay? Exactly the same thing. But the bottom bits don't look so nice. Ugh. Right, okay. So multiply top and bottom by x minus 2. It's just a bit more to it, okay? It's just an extra step. And this time, over here, multiply by x plus 1, top and bottom. So it gives us something a little bit nicer on the top. But and then all over. What am I going to have? I'm multiplying this one by x minus 2. So it would be x plus 1 times x minus 2. And then the other side is x minus 2 times x. It's, it's the same. So you only really need to write it down once. Okay. There we go. 
Right. Okay. I think it's worth just tidying up this this numerator here. This this like I said, some people would argue mathematicians, you know, you might even leave it a bit like that. But I think we can probably do a little bit with that top line. So let's just multiply out this part over here. What would that give us? That would give us 2x squared, take away 4x, take away x, plus 2. And then I've got minus 3x. Be careful here. I know a lot of people make this mistake. Minus 3 times 1 to be minus 3 at the end. Those people put plus and they just carry that bit down. Um, and then all of that is, now I'm not even going to bother sorting out the uh, the denominator there, okay? I could multiply it out, but I'm just going to leave it like that, it's fine. Right, let's just tidy up this top part. So what have we got? We've got, we got 2x squared, and then we've got, got minus 5x, minus 6, 7, 8, minus 8x, and then plus 2, minus 3, it's going to be minus 1 and over x plus 1, x minus 2. I'm having a quick look to see if I can factorise that. I don't think I can, so that would be fine. Just leave it like that. Right. Have a look at this one. Okay. Now this time, before I start, there's something here that I'm not happy with. I'm looking at this. And again, I know this is, you know, it looks harder, but just look at that. Can you rewrite that? Now remember, this is the key to doing these questions. The more you do, the more you're kind of looking, you think, hey, wait a minute, I've got this bit. Can I write that in a different way? Well, writing that in a different way is x plus 1, x plus 2. Okay? And then plus x minus 1 over x plus 2. Right. I need to be a bit clever with this one. All right? Yes, it's a, it, you know, it is harder, but I need to be a bit clever. This is two things multiplied together. And one of the things is here. So if I just multiply this one, top and bottom, by x plus 1, we have the same denominator. So let's see where we get to. So I've got, so I've got x minus 1, and I'm multiplying this by x plus 1, top and bottom. So it's the same denominator. There we go. And then all of that is over x plus 1. Now, this it's tougher. It's tougher. There we go. Right. It's probably worth just trying to tidy this bit up over here. I'm just going to squeeze this in because bad planning. I've... Oh, wait a minute. That's the difference of two squares, like backwards, isn't it? It's just going to be like that. There we go. And then that goes over x plus 1. x plus 2. I might write that with the x squared at the front. All right, there you go. Um, have a go at some questions. All right, remember, don't be put off. That's hard. All right, that's hard. That's hard. But actually, it's the same. They're all the same. All right, if you can do this, you can have a decent go at all of these other questions. All right, so even if you feel you're not making progress, you are making progress by just trying some of these and if you get really stuck again just watch this again all right and then you're getting you're getting somewhere okay If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, I've been RMS Maths and I'll see you next time. Maths out.